Thank God you're here. The fire was almost out of control. I mean, seriously, there was like fire everywhere and I had to like put water on it and my poor little fireplace. I swear to God, all my beautiful books were almost on fire. <sighs> Hello lovely Shopify world, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io but you subscribed and you already knew this. Welcome to another week where we review Shopify apps just for you. So we do all these things with the Shopify app. So if there is one specific section that interests you more than another one, just go to the timestamp below and go straight to that section. Otherwise, this week we are looking at SMS web push email from fire push so this week we're going to do things also a little bit differently we have actually someone that's here uh, to help us review the app someone that has used it uh, themselves so you can kind of hear a first uh, person experience about it it is Umar Kamar from exportleftovers.com so he will tell you exactly how this app impacted him beside that this fire push app has a 4.8 out of 5 star reviews but we'll see that all the way in the facts corner and most important of all don't forget we have a competition going on where we give four hours of development work so my devs come to your store and optimize it for free uh, but for that make sure to check at the very end of the video on what you have to do all right that's enough let's go to the walkthrough the app is installed and we are on the account creation window so the usual stuff let's fill it in pretty quickly uh the second page is reserved for the focus here we can choose from a three different focus areas the speed up sales growth the improved conversion rate and the increased customer lifetime value let's choose the first option and click on next here you see some information about the benefits of sms and also you can see it in action on the following page we can see a web push introduction and that's kind of it for the start guide pretty clear we are on the app dashboard our beloved dashboard um it looks very nice the navigation menu is on the left on the bottom right you can find a live chat but we will speak about that in a later section the first thing you will see on the dashboard is here quick analytics you can play with the time frame for more precise info the next step is sms notifications all the sms notifications are requiring one of the paid plans but as you can see here there are plenty of options and we don't review paid plans yet because we don't have enough followers so make sure to like subscribe and tell your friends so we can start reviewing those paid plans the next in line is push notifications um, here we have app recommendations and progress bar uh, some of the push notifications are reserved for paid users but we can test a few right here uh, let's start with the first one which is the welcome pushes um, this is nice on the right there is a live preview and on the left we can change the title description but also we can add a call to action or any other type of button actually but wait there is more yes that's not all in order to collect even more subscribers you can add the discount code with the countdown timer all right that's a pretty powerful tune uh, let's activate it and jump to the next notification. Maybe we can activate uh, product delivery updates and price drop alerts. For the product delivery updates, we can set four different notification payments accepted, uh, order dispatch, tracking number, and refund confirmation. Huh. This is the similar template as we had with the welcome notification, so we can move to the price drop notifications. On this tab, you can customize the price drop notification, big surprise, and also the actual price drop sign-up box. Okay, let's activate it quickly and jump to the email. Email is, as you can see, still in beta, and only one type is available, email promotional campaigns, and it's only available for paid users. Um, okay, these three types are coming soon, and I'm sure it will be a nice addition and overall great to the app. So the Fire Push team, uh, make sure to let us know in the comments when it will come out. So uh, maybe if you're watching this video in the future, it's already out. So let's go to our demo shop and see what we have done. Um, 
the app is working and there we go we got the welcome notification so our next section is okay guys let's use test my store speed dot com in order to see how uh, fast our store is and if this app did any damage this is a free tool we've built for you you can also spy on your competition see what apps they use that you don't use we already tested our store before without the app and now we're going to test it again and we can easily compare the results in the history section right here um, this was the report before the app was added and then this one today so the page size went up with about half a megabyte nine additional requests on the home page um, similar results on all the other pages so there seems to be some some effect of having uh, these guys on all right now that you have a better idea of how the app looks and feels let's see what a person that actually used the app in the past uh, says about it let's go Let's find out. Ready, set, go. Hi, my name is Umar, and I am the co-founder of ELO, formerly known as Expo Leftovers. Basically, it's a spin-off of my father's textile business. My father has been involved in textile industry for the last 35 years, and he works with one of some of the world's top brands. And uh, he was working for a company uh, in December 2013, and uh, he had uh, made their clothes, but the company went bankrupt. Uh, to recover the money, um, we couldn't sell those clothes to anyone else because it had their label on it. We just uh, made a website on Shopify and just posted those products, and it started selling really quickly. And that's how Export Leftovers evolved. So it's zero uh, carbon emission, we don't make any new fabric when we are producing Polo Republica. Every, everything we use for Polo Republica is whatever is lying around in our factory. And our mission for 2022 is to have zero textile waste. So there would be no textile waste. So we used Fire Push after researching after for quite a long time for alternative options. Uh, but we stick to Fire Push because of Thomas's amazing support and uh, it was probably the, the easiest fix on Shopify to send push notifications. We needed push notifications because we believe it is very engaging uh, for the customers. For example, abandoned cart and um, telling customers about new offers. We needed an app, uh, uh, a platform where we could do it and uh, Firepush does it very nicely actually. Um, I think Firepush is pretty simple to set up it's uh, relatively cheap and uh, it's very affordable and it's very, you know like setting up a campaign is su super super easy and uh, if we get into any trouble we just get in touch with Thomas and he helps us out so I think um, uh, it's and then you know obviously the returns the money we make out of using that uh, um, that platform the, the customer engagement the you know people engaging with the fire push notification to buy stuff from us is, is definitely the key benefit. So fire push has certainly improved our business quite a lot. Like when we look at our uh, ROAS, it's uh, consistently between uh, five to six uh, when we use fire push. Um, you know, the numbers, the numbers are amazing. And uh, once again, it gives an, us another opportunity to uh, engage with our customers. Okay, okay, okay. So you know what section we roll next, right? So we are on the demo shop and here is the opt-in message. Um, let's allow it and here is our welcome notification. All right, looks good. Uh, maybe we should have customized it a little bit more, but I guess now you have the whole picture of how the app looks. Damn, that was fast. Time to look at... Yeah! 
The support is available via live chat and we love that. You can search for the answer in the help center if the customer support is not currently available. But you know what, let's send them a message and see what you can expect as answer. Uh, the message is sent, so now we need to wait. And boom, we got an answer immediately after a few seconds. All right, that's a shout out to Fire Poosh. Welcome to the Facts Corner. So, um, first of all, integrations. With which other app does this app integrate with? They integrate with two apps that we have already reviewed. A Luke's, to give me the Luke's. Remember when I made that awesome joke? Super popular. It was a great joke. And Growware that we also already reviewed. So make sure to check out those reviews. Um, then let's look at pricing. There is the free pricing app. Well, these are all the options right here. To start with, there is the free plan, which has a hundred thousand emails for uh, three months. It has a thousand pushes, unlimited subscribers on SMS, email, and push. Um, there is promo campaigns and there is delivery updates, and also uh, priced up and back in store options. Uh, for the basic of five dollars per month, you have access to all of the features from uh, that I just mentioned but you also have 2,500 pushes you have the abandoned cart uh, automations which you didn't have before the power push notifications the segmentation of email and SMS and the SMS optimization then you have the advanced plan for $19 a month um, you have 10,000 pushes for that amount, the, ab the abandoned card automation, the power push notifications, the segmentations, and the SMS automations as well. Okay, cool, but who are the competitors? So let's start with Push Owl, which we have reviewed. You should check it out. Um, otherwise, there is Push Monkey, which we have reviewed. Check it out. Uh, there is the announcement bar and web push, which are these guys. There is Intel, these guys. There is Omnisend, sounds familiar. There is abandoned email cart notification by the Booster app. And then there is abandoned cart recovery email by CareCart. And in regards to the rating, this app has a 4.8 out of 5 rating and has 723 reviews, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, this is what the breakdown looks like. So the vast majority, 604, are 5 stars. Now there are a couple of 1 stars. Um, let's overlay the one star reviews on the screen right here just maybe because there might be some specific issue that you have as well uh, that they reviewed in there so just pause it and check it out and then that is it guys thank you so much for watching but wait before you go there is our competition so the question is how many likes will this video have 24 hours after posting it just make your guess in the comments below and the person that's closest to uh, guessing it right gets four hours of dev work so my team will just jump on your store optimize it do all the little quirky stuff that has been bothering you about your store and has been hindering your conversion rate so just leave a comment below about how many likes you think this will have there you go guys thank you so much for watching my video Please subscribe. Please make sure you check out the next video. I love you and see you in the next one. Ciao.